We last part we had this goddamn fight, which is the Hawk 7 Hatch or whatever it's called, which took me one hour plus to get it finished and done. Uh, it cost me too much mental health. Way too much. And now I'm going further into the game. You look like a lever. Uh, uh, Pretty impressive, isn't it? You can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. It will, you'll see. I won't let Dr. Sechenov down again. Oh boy, I don't believe. I don't think we can fix it. Oh, damn, look at that. Oh, dog. You hear the dog? Is it schnitzel? And the game is stuttering. Too much firework. Game can handle it. Game can't handle it, damn it. More Let's locked get doors. Inside. Who the hell keeps locking everything? Whoever he is. I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. These doors will be opened via a symbolic gesture during the ceremony. Symbolic how? The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system hanging above the entrance. I'll see what I can do. The stupid puzzle. Great. That's a... You're on the right is all set. Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. Oh my god. Oh my god. No entry. And a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Oh, well, God. whatever. Damn. That's tricky. How many puzzles do you want to build in your game? Game. All of the. Every single variation of puzzles. Magnets, got it. Lock picking, yep. So it once. Not again, though. Reaction time puzzles, sure, dude. Oh. Oh. Major, cool. have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. <clears throat> I feel like I'm gonna get crushed. Peeking through, seeing if there's anything to do here. This looks like a platform I can use. Damn you. Oh. Oh, 
Really? Nothing? That's not us. I'm supposed to fix it, right? That Stay robot is gonna come to life. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> you sucker. What you staring at, you metal dipshit? He's stretching. Yeah. Sit down, man. Sit down. I don't have my axe with me. Oh, look at that. Puzzles. Oh, we got reaction time. Don't worry about it. I don't want my axe back. Oh, the weapon. The weapon. It's <laughs> also a puzzle. Seriously, dude. God damn it. Can't double dab. Oh, one too often. Otherwise, you get dead. What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. <clears throat> that kill me. Oops, that would... <laughs> full damage would kill me. Oh, look. Loot. Good thing I checked. Dynamo. <laughs> You're cuddling with this guy, huh? That's a me robot. This one, hey, this one talks. That's a human. We had hats, we had suits, we had boots. We didn't have a plane. Uh, what are you talking about? My partner and I used to service the magnets here. And each day we worried we might get grounded if we got careless. Or rubber treated pants, swallowed pills, put tinfoil under the hard hat, anything to avoid getting torn apart by the magnetic field. But it was the robots that killed you. Nah, come on, not the robots. It was poor judgment. We should have gotten weapons and body armor. You see, the problem wasn't the robots, it was lack of preparation. You should always know what's going to happen. You can never be ready for everything. God damn it, that's a miserable excuse. Take my advice. Hmm? Never part with what you can use. Always think twice before wasting a bullet. Stay low and make short runs from one shelter to another. Never investigate anything unless absolutely necessary. Following your advice would make life pretty damn dull. Do what I did, and you're gonna live longer. Look, uh, there's a hole big enough in your logic to drive a truck through, but whatever. Whatever. Let's see. <laughs> 
That's Fuck. not what I had in mind. Yeah, I don't know why I tried it. I want to see what's up here, that's why. Nothing. Huh. Huh. Now I'm getting the good stuff, apparently. After the boss fight. So what guy actually has a use? Damn. Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. <clears throat> so? Damn it. Damn. How do I get up here? Oh, God damn it. Stuck on the sex spot. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are. But neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrade Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Cause no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Fuck. Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. <gasps> Isn't that right? <gasps> yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. Pretty sure I'm overthinking things here. Fading data. Thank you. That's the vendor. Storage upgrade system. To get rid of stuff to get my axe back. The, the weapon. The weapon. Um. Damn. I had it with this goddamn puzzles already. <coughs> so how is this? 
Oh god. <laughs> Why? Did they have a little bit of fun here? Got the magnetic puzzles. Randomly moving boxes. Oh no. Something big behind here. Them. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov <laughs> can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. Fading data. Oh, God. Oh, yes, a wool parcel. Everything green. I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in Collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuroconnector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. 
but individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective, that's why he's on his way here right now. Crispy quarters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechenov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. Oh boy. <laughs> Too many puzzles. Too many puzzles. That's not just an additional loot room, right? Saving data. <laughs> what? Saving data. <laughs> This time, suppose. What the hell? So, <laughs> oh, do one for me, game. I'm almost glitched. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it. No, stop it. <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't see this on the floor. Oh. on the floor here oh my god so this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up <laughs> this place is nuts you can ascend to the surface along with the mirror for once you're right 
I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. Oh, that fixed it. Oh my god. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, <laughs> Comrade Major? The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Oh god. Those ones. I hate those ones the most. Oh, look, an old school safe room. Fading and a down. robot. On the door. I need to look out for clues. Leads me to this chest. Damn. This could be one, but that's too big. Try. Let's try a simple. Those buses suck. They suck. I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? The line can be, be uh, opened with my multi key. Error. Multi key not found. All Tereshkova models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi key. My forearms have been torn off by miscreants. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. Please. Please. Charles, what do the Proceed special neural connectors for collective look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. Aborted. The ones they will get look like thought devices, but in a golden diamond encrusted shell. The scientists from Dr. Sechenov's team have already received different devices. Different? You mean there's going to be ones with different capabilities? According to Dr. Sechenov's plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is going to try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuropolymer glove from, Comrade Major? What? You mean yourself? I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. <laughs> he did ask me to be careful with you. Shut up, robot. Oh, okay, we got a little loot room. Damn, actually there's a lot of loot in here. I would have needed that before the boss fight. I don't understand, but we'll be happy to help you. Yeah. Error 68. I'm 
Ron Baker. Desktop video video. Playback failed. Music. Music. Video. Fail. Playback. Please. Okay, let's. Please pr proceed. Shh. Shut up. System integration aborted. Let's look for the code before we're done here. Oh, another notebook. That doesn't look good for him. Did you do that? I'll talk to him in the next episode. First looting. Those far containers are definitely the loot, over loot, boating, big boom, whatever, English language. Can't talk. Need to sleep. Too tired to think. The code for the puzzle could be on the PC. Just realized that. System integration aborted. Shut up. I don't understand. Uh... Oh. So we'll be happy be to help you. Okay, 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 that's the big of a puzzle. Hmm. Where's the door code? God, she's annoying. Ah, bam, 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 that's too much. That's just too much. Go to sleep and figure that out tomorrow. Right, right, that's the plan right now. Uh, peace out.